So those were the ringworm puppies. Um, like I said, if you follow us on social media, uh, you know all about them. Uh, we were not planning on saving them, but they were going to be put to sleep um, at the shelter be just because they had ringworm. Um, and there's no, their shelters are so packed. Um, so we stepped in at the last minute. We were able to save them. We asked you to help us cover their medical bills. Um, and you, I'm not, I can't even say I'm surprised anymore because it's been 48 hours and we're almost at our goal. Uh, so thank you. It's incredible. Uh, again, they need a foster desperately. Um, and foster they can be fostered separately and desperately they need a foster. That was hard to say in one thing. Um, and if we already played Steve, did we play Steve already talking about the ringworm pups? That was live, right? Yeah. Um, you heard it from Steve who fosters and adopts. Um, he had a really bad ringworm uh, puppy case he had, that he adopted that puppy and not, his other dog did not get it. None of his kids or anyone else in the household got it. They were, it's not that hard. It's super easy. Um, we cover costs of everything. We'll guide you through everything. Um, if you'd like to donate towards their care, we're like 500 bu bucks away from uh, reaching our goal to cover their vet bill. Uh, you can text help pups to 44-321 or click the link in our bio on Instagram. And if you do get it, it's not a big deal. I've had it. It's you just put some cream on it. It's slightly annoying, but it's really not a big deal. Um, and did I forget anything about the ringworm pups? Okay. And now we're transitioning into a non-ringworm puppy who's just as cute and a new foster. Nancy, thank you for being here and stepping up to foster. Um, we're so grateful for you. I also love your blue nails. Um, so this is another one of the other. I know there's so many puppies. Um, this is not a ringworm pup. This is another pup we saved from a bad situation with um, hit her three siblings, um, Taylor, Tyler, Tegan, and Tatum. Aye, aye, aye. I'm exhausted. <laughs> um, so this is Tegan, another one of the pups. They're about four months old. Oh my gosh, they're so sweet. They all have very similar personalities and energy. Um, so oh, you're, you're extra cute with a little paw up right now, oh. little miss. Um, so I know you've only been fostering for a few days, but tell me a little bit about her. Uh, she is definitely a great dog. Um, she is energetic. Um, obviously She's a pup. A pup yep. um, but they're very sweet. So I do have another dog and um, she's a Morky and they get along. <laughs> so that's, awesome. that's the main thing. That's the, she's definitely a, a great candidate for, for being adopted if you have other dogs. Yeah, um, it sounds like they're all in households with other dogs and doing great. It's probably helped them break out of their shells. Um, they were in a bad situation before, um, so they're definitely going to need a second to decompress, but they're all adjusting so quickly. Um, like your siblings, you seem like you're doing great. Um, so yeah, uh, one of them has been cat tested and is good with cats. I'm assuming they're all good with cats. Um, again, they're about four months old. We think they're like lab Doberman mixes. Um, what else? I think that's everything. The puppies are pretty straightforward. It's a puppy. You're going to be great in um, any with any family or any household situation. Why did Nancy want to be a foster? Nancy, why? <laughs> We're putting you on the spot as we uh, try to recruit new fosters. Why did you yes, want to foster? Uh, I have foster all the time. I, I'm from San Jose, so oh, I did it back in the old days. And now that we had a bigger home, I have a little backyard, and I said, hey, let's go ahead and start it again. So, um, obviously, I like to help out anytime. Well, awesome. <laughs> well, thank you so thank much. You We're so like thankful Nancy. for you. Yeah, we <laughs> cannot save dogs without fosters. Uh, for those that don't know, we do not have a facility. We're foster-based, um, so we cannot save dogs without foster homes. We have a great, we call them the Fabulous Foster Squad. We have a great Fabulous Foster Squad, but we always need new fosters in order to save more dogs. Uh, we're growing each year we need more fosters um, so if you're interested you can check out more on our website thelittlereddog.org click on fostering there's lots of FAQs and everything on there um, and our application um, so please step up to foster um, we'd love to have you we need you um, thank you again for like fostering Nancy. yes and for stopping by today <laughs> and fostering um, this is again Tegan and I believe we will be right back with uh, not Taylor <laughs> Uh, but we'll be right back. <laughs> She is looking so 